हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल बायोलॉजिक्स फाइव आई एम नीरु शर्मा एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रोसेस ऑफ ट्रांसलेशन पार्ट थ्री प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस इन माय अर्लियर वीडियोस ऑफ ट्रांसलेशन पार्ट वन एंड टू आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ टी आर एन अबाउट द चार्जिंग ऑफ टी आर एन एंड डिफरेंट ट्राइबोसोमल साइट्स लाइक ए साइट असेप्टर साइट for the tRNA and this is the peptidal site and the E site this all site i have discussed in my earlier video of translation part 2 we have discussed about the peptidal transferase enzyme present on this site p site that is 23 s ribosomal rna structural rna which function as enzyme that's why it is called ribogen we have discussed also about the mrna the transcriptional unit in my earlier video of translation part 2 i will provide the link of that videos in my description box now today we will discuss about the part 3 and that is the protein synthesis what is translation actually translation refers to the process of polymerization of amino acid polymerization of amino acid to form a polypeptide polypeptide is a chain of amino acid and order and sequence of amino acid are defined by the codons present in the mrna so this is all about translation and the protein synthesis is the polymerization of amino acid to form polypeptide that is the protein synthesis and the process of protein synthesis occur in the three steps that is initiation elongation and the termination during the process of initiation mrna is formed by the process of transcription as we all know in my earlier videos i have discussed about the transcription dna form the mrna through the process of transcription through the transcription mrna is formed and this mrna get attached to the this smaller subunit of ribosome the smaller subunit recognize some sequence present on mrna attach itself on the mrna this is our mrna for the translation this mrna get atta attached to the smaller subunit next the trna which is the initiator trna we can say recognizes the start codon and what is the start codon always it is aug the trna initiator trna recognize recognize this aug codon as start codon and attach itself on the this start codon site other initiation factors are also required that are initiation factor 1 initiation initiation factor 2 these are three initiation factors also required for the initiation of transcription initiation factor 3 will attach further and these whole things make the translation initiation complex the larger subunit also get attached to this to this and the, this the whole complex with whole the both subunit of ribosomes mrna and trna is known as translation initiation complex and this trn that is the initiator trna is the only trna which is which binds to this p site uh, otherwise all trna will first come to the a site then they will go on the p site this is all about the initiation now we come to the process of elongation when this translation initiation complex is formed the another trna another trna will come to the a site this another trna corresponding to this codon will come to this a site and get attached to this site these are two charged trna when two charged trna come together the formation of peptide bond will energetically favored and the p the p site there is peptidal transferase that is the ribogen which catalyze the formation of peptide bond between these two amino acid so the peptide bond is formed between these two amino acid and now this trna get detached from the amino acid and it will come to the exit site and comes out from the ribosome 
simultaneously the translocation of ribosome also occurs translocation is the movement of ribosome on m along with mrna along mrna along to mrna in this translocation process ribosome moves codon by codon and different trna come and attach to this sites receptor sites and now we can take the third trna also here this is trna loaded with amino acid amino acid and again the peptide bond is formed and first trna comes out from the ribosome then this trna get uncharged by transferring amino acid to polypeptide and it will also come out another trna another trna for further codons will come and attached to the a site and b site and this process will carry on until the whole polypeptide is formed this process got repeated multiple times until the whole polypeptide is formed so this is all about the elongate elongation i have write different points on each topics the initiation i have write different uh, points of initiation different point of elongation we have discussed all these points actually now we come to the process of termination during the process of termination the termination it is actually the translation termination the translation will get terminated at this stage when the whole polypeptide is formed actually when the complete polypeptide is formed then the stop codon comes on the ribosome as we all know there are three stop codons that is uag uaa and uga any of these codon comes comes here at the a site of the ribosome and this stop codon is recognized by the release factor this is the factor which is required for the process of termination this release factor attached to the this site to the stop codon and release the polypeptide from the ribosome here you can see clearly in the picture the trna come out from the ribosome and the polypeptide is now free and out of for the ribosome so ultimately whole the translation machinery whole translation machinery will get dis dissociated from each other and the end of termination occurs these are two different subunits of ribosome get dissociated this is the mrna and this is the trna and this is the free polypeptide which is formed after the process of protein synthesis translation and this is the end of the translation that is termination hope you guys understood the topic whole topic of protein synthesis which included different part that is initiation elongation and termination i have write down different points of each part initiation elongation and termination hope these notes will help you in your studies so guys if you understood the topic well and like my video please subscribe my channel and ring the bell if you want to get notified whenever i post my next video that's all for today thank you for listening have a nice